<laughs> oh man. Well, the reason why Fnatic is being like that, or two is being like that, is because Mayak, I believe he's not old enough to go to LAN, and uh, some of the points that people are making is that the fact that you know they're 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 a strong team online because they have the strong players there, but when they go to LAN, they end up failing because they're not used to playing with the other teammates. So. Uh, you know, there's some validity to the point, no doubt about it. All right, so let's swap players here. <clears throat> As we are going to be having Epsilon on the Russian side. Fnatic will be on the Chinese side. And uh, as I said before, it'll be interesting to the breakouts. Uh, let's go with the free cam real quick and just kind of check out what's going to be going on. I would imagine that we're going to have at least one, although I've been wrong on a couple of my predictions here lately, uh, but I would imagine one is going to be going out for each team on these flanks, just kind of shopping, kind of a back rage going on. Uh, Fnatic will obviously be able to take C very fast and probably make it out to B extremely fast as well. So Fnatic electing not to go out for any kind of a back rage. Epsilon will, uh, but they're going to be taking the shorter route. They're going to be going straight for that Charlie flag. Uh, it looks like, as he's going to be able to pressure that really, really quickly. And we're seeing, uh, yeah, massive push coming in here for Fnatic. Hork is already going to be there waiting. We're going to be able to take out Marsu, as uh, we are going to be seeing a very, very aggressive Fnatic coming in here onto Bravo Flag. I believe they committed three on that push, but Epsilon doing a really great job holding that off. We'll be able to get that B-cap uh, for their team. Uh, now we are going to be having Marsu up on top try and make something happen, but uh, he's going to be kind of left out into the open here. It looks like they were not able to clean up. We have two more that are going to be left back up. Vegetation will be able to spot out one. Uh, does he get David 2K? He does. So he's going to be able to cap him out. Gets hit with a nice nade. Some spawns coming in here. Hork will be in the backfield spamming those nades for his teammates, uh, trying to stay alive. Some really good shots coming in uh, from Mort as he's able to really uh, lock down that area. And we just saw right there, able to take out Hork, but still not able to get onto that B cap. Uh, Fnatic is being completely pushed off of it. They are going to be able to get the nooch. Does look like they were able to make some headway there. So let's take a look in the free cam real quick as we do have a fight that was shaping up on the outside. So there we go. Uh, here we're seeing right now how that backside can just be completely shut down. Let's look at Value Taj's point of view as uh, we're seeing it right now. He's shut down one, possibly a second one here in just a second. And there's not going to be any movement really whatsoever. And he can just back up, heal up, keep pushing, back up, heal up. And uh, just keep that the whole entire way. Uh, we do have Unfixed, who is ready for any kind of push coming in uh, through this back side of the area. Uh, Valutation does get taken down. A four-man push coming in from the back side. This is a huge commitment here. And a possibly a, uh, a, a, a mistake if we don't have Fnatic realizing this and going over towards A. It doesn't look like he's going to. But we do have Asher's getting picked out. So nice job there for Mort as he's just being a really good safety, locking that area down. That's what I was telling you guys earlier. You know, if you have a good safety, uh, he just basically sits back there and, you know, waits for any kind of push coming into the flank. But uh, right now, Duke PT going ham right there onto Bravo Flag. We'll be able to take out too easy. Uh, Mort and Valutasia, or Mort actually takes out Valutasia in a team kill, unfortunately. Uh, but with Mort with the double kill getting back up onto the Bravo Flag, we'll be getting taken down by Horik. So, Epsilon in a possible triple cap here, as like I said before, they had an overcommitment over there onto that Bravo Flag. We did see Too Easy and Unfix going to be able to take out that A uh, cap for themselves. David 2K going to be making his way over here towards, uh, towards that Alpha Flag, or that Charlie Flag, rather. Let's see if he can make anything happen of it. Mort has done a really good job of holding on Let's see if he can do it even more. Has, is he actually still here? Yes, he is. So we do have more still onto this flag. Going to be taking a little bit of noise spam. Doesn't go down. Value Taja, though, will be the last one back up alive. Uh, is he going to be able to stop this? I think he should be able to stop this. Remember, triple cap for Fnatic. So they're looking really, really good right now. And Hork does end up going down. We're going to be having 137 to 175 in favor of Fnatic from this first round. And Epsilon, they need to make something happen now. And this is not a map that you want to get wiped. Uh, you, do, you do not want to get wiped in triple cap on this map because the spawn areas are just horrendous uh, for this particular map. Now we do have Fnatic uh, going to be spreading out quite nicely as uh, we do have Too Easy going to be defending over here onto Bravo Flag. Here's some footsteps going on. Sees him out. Not able to get the, ca uh, the pick with that nade. Doesn't it going down? That was Hork that was able to make that play right there. Duke PT, uh, can he finish out this burn? It looks like he will be able to do so. So they're going to be slowly making their way back out of that trip cap. And they're going to get the bleed back on their favor once again. 
So, not out of it just yet. We do have two units again. We're pushing back up over here towards the balconies. Has to back back up. Won't be making anything happen out of that. Duke PT, though, going to be pressuring C. And I like this play from Epsilon here. I do think that they need to be aggressive. We'll be able to take out Unfixed. And that that is a good trade, in my opinion. Uh, Asterix will be able to finish that up. Gets the res, and they will be able to pressure onto that Charlie flag. We do have a two-man going to be waiting for this. Duke PT, why is it going to be going out? But I think they're going to have too many spawns coming in here for Fnatic, as they should be ready for this. Uh, right now, but uh, Duke PT able to spot out one. Uh, that was a beautiful play there. Valutasia trying to uh, stay alive. Oh, he does end up going down, trying to go for that jump shot. Sorry, you guys couldn't see that I was in tabletop mode. But uh, David 2K still alive underneath, now finally going down. And Fnatic is actually being bottlenecked in Charlie. This is something that I did not expect to see from this Fnatic team, as they are kind of uh, just. Well, they're bottlenecked into Charlie Flag. They're not able to go anywhere. So Epsilon doing a really great job of containing. Uh, and they, they, they're they starting to even up the score quite a bit. It's 119 to 140. It's a 20-ticket game. So not too bad. They are going to be able to keep a hold of that Bravo Flag. Unfixed does end up going down. Hork will be back up onto B. Knows that there's a couple of them over here back behind in this flank. So slowly but surely, Epsilon is going to be fighting their way back in. We do have Mayak, who is 11-5. Uh, and five. Once again, beasting it for the team. Going to go out here on this back side of the map. Just to make sure there's not going to be any kind of a back rage going on. And oh my gosh, we are going to be seeing some uh, crazy spec as, uh, you know, that was going anywhere near his opponent. But some nade spam going back and forth. And it doesn't look like he's going to be able to stay alive. It has to sit down. Will not be able to make it happen. Ends up going down. Hork will be back up into that Bravo flag. Should be able to stop any kind of push coming in. But we do have some back rage coming in. David 2K not able to hold on there. And Fnatic going to be closing in onto Bravo. Should be able to take that out. Duke PT though, can he save it? No, he doesn't. And now we're just going to be CC and be being completely traded. So while it looks kind of dire for Fnatic right there, as uh, for a little bit anyways, they did end up losing um, Charlie flag. But they are on B. And what... That B flag will allow them to do is the same thing what, what it did for Epsilon on Shanghai. It allowed them to pivot from C or A. So it'll be interesting to see where they're going. Oh, that was a beautiful play by Too Easy, juking him out. Oh, that was awesome. Basically, just baited him out there and was able to take control of the situation. Duke PT now going to be over here onto Alpha. And he is going to be just beasting it up right now. Can he stay alive? I'm sorry, that was Mort. As he turns around, nice, nice play. His teammate's going to be helping him out there. Going in for a back rage, very low on health. He's the pause for just a second. But he's going to be a good spawn for his teammates. Oh, my God, narrowly escapes there. 31 HP left. They know they're down there. Oh, gets out of the ADS just in time to lose that gunfight. But Fnatic has taken control of C and B. Duke PT with a really good spawn coming back out here. We'll be able to get onto that Charlie flag here in just a few moments. 92 to 101, looking really good here for Fnatic as uh, they've been able to control most of the game so far. And uh, and uh, we do have, it uh, looks like a, or a B and C flag going into the favor of Fnatic. A is still in control of Epsilon. Going to be pressuring down onto that B flag here in just a second. Now, the cool thing here is that both of these teams are still in this match. So it's, it's still a very tight match. So it's anybody's game. This can definitely switch at a moment's notice. We will be seeing Mayak up on top of the B balconies. And Epsilon is starting to slow down here. Uh, are, are, they, are they starting to uh, try and think about it a little bit more? Are they trying to, okay, we're, we're losing our frags, we're not getting our frag battles, we need to kind of slow down, assess the situation, try and make something come back and, and uh, you know, push after that. We will be seeing uh, Epsilon, though, getting completely surrounded. Duke PT is going to be over here on the outside. Uh, we do spot out one Fnatic player. Does he know that he's there? He does. Will he be able to take him down? It's going to be a two-on-one situation. And uh, who is this over here? Is this Value Tasia? It is. It is Value Tasia. Is he's going to be able to one on two? Not going to be able to make that happen. Hit fire spray. Not going to be strong enough for him there. But we had two easy inside, holding it down on that Bravo flag. Slowly but surely getting that ticket whittled down. 60 to 99 in favor of Fnatic. Beautiful pick up there onto the balconies. And honestly, at this moment, Fnatic is playing this out really, really well. 
Um, I like the way they're doing it. They're, they're slow playing it. They're just getting the two caps. They're not being so aggressive. <clears throat> so I think they're going to be okay. Already shifting back over here to the alpha flag. They should be able to pick that out. No problem. Epsilon has to react to this. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So it's going to pull a couple of players back. Beautiful nades coming in there for Fnatic. As Duke PT is going to be all alone to try and hold this off. Once again, using that Scar H, which has been very, very powerful gun so far. And will he be able to get this pick? He does. So Value Taja ends up going down. But the problem is, is he's not going to be able to get this cap. Trying to get that last player with the... Oh, can he get the headshot? Oh, if he got the headshot, that would have been a beautiful play. Will not be able to do so. Mayak does end up going down. Duke PT ends up going down. They will be able to secure B and C, though, for their teammates. So looking good there. Marsu will be going back up on the backside. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. My voice is just not agreeing with me today. And now Epsilon's going to be making their way back into this match. It's 49-78. Fnatic going to be on the back foot here as they're just not able to make any headway into Bravo Flag. You see Unfixed and Too Easy going to be over here onto B. It looks like Mort was going to be able to take the last of them down. And three players for Epsilon, four players for Epsilon are going to be down. And that is a wipe, guys. Something that you never want to see happen on this map, as we said before. And uh, I think that Asher is actually out of ammo. And he's going to be trying to pistol whip it here. Will not happen. And a possible trip cap going to be coming in here. Let's look if Valutaja can hold this off. If he does, this, is, this could very well be the nail in the coffin. And we will be going on to round number two. We do have Valutaja going to be coming back out. He spots that one up onto the balcony. He knows that he's there. A is going to be burning. Is he going to be super sneaky? He is, but it's not going to be enough. As we do have Mayak spots that out. We'll be able to take him down. Unfixed, though. Going to be set up inside these buildings, or bathrooms, as I have heard them being called. David 2K going in for a back rage. I don't think it's going to be enough here, guys, as he is very low on health. His teammates do help him out there. Get shot from behind. That was going to be Marsu. He ended up uh, cleaning that up. And it's going to be 22 to 65. They will be making up their final push, I would say, onto B flag. This is where it really needs to happen. If they're going to be making a, a comeback, this is it. Too easy does end up going down in through those doorways. Value Taja has to back up very low on health here. 1861. The bleed is in the favor of Epsilon. Can they come back in this round? If they don't win it, they at least need the bleed down another, I would say, 30 tickets or so, which is absolutely possible. 56 left for Fnatic. Is Value Taja not going to be able to make anything happen there? No. Horik, turn around. You're about to get a back cap going on here. Does he know that Unfixed? Unfixed is just waiting. He sees that there's at least one player in there. He doesn't want to make a push just yet. He does now. Will he be able to make the nade spam work for him? Get some spawns off on him. Oh, no, Hork. Will he be able to hold on to a two-on-one situation? He's so low on health. Only 30 left. Will he be able to do this? Value Taja is back there. As well as uh, I believe it was unfixed. And not going to happen. As uh, he does end up going down by unfixed. Some spawns coming in. But at the same time, they rotated over here to this Charlie flag. So uh, rotations are fairly decent right now. And Mayak is going to be back here on to Alpha. So uh, some really good spots here for Epsilon. They're going to try and whittle them down as much as possible. B flag is now going to be completely uh, grayed out. We do have unfixed making his way back up into a headless position on Alpha. Not going to happen there. Marsu is going to be back up. Gets the hit fire spray on Mayak. It's a two flags. To one for Fnatic, but look at that. B is also going to get contested. Looks like that was going to be cleaned up by Value Taja, and now C is going to be quickly getting contested as well. 9 and 35. I think that Epsilon has done the damage that they need to be doing, and they, they're not done yet. They're going to be hitting over here onto Bravo Flag. Value Taja is the only one back here to answer for Fnatic, and he goes down very, very quickly. Unfix going to be back up. A will be going into their possession as it is now. Finally going to be grayed out, but Epsilon there coming back. They took what could have been about a 50 ticket lead and they drug it down to about a 30 ticket lead so they are looking really really good right now and uh, it shouldn't be that hard for them to come back in the next round if they are going to be coming back so a lot better than, than 50 tickets absolutely so good half indeed 128 that is it 28 tickets will be the ticket count to beat can they do it it's possible i could definitely see this epsilon team doing that so anyways very good plays there coming out of both of those teams. We do have one dropping for Fnatic, so we may not go live on this next round. But we'll be going live here very shortly. Look at that. Mayak going 23-14, and 14, beasting.
for his teammates. Unfixed, 22 and 11. Uh, value Taja, 16 and 16. Although he wasn't a top fragger, what he did over there on the backfield at stopping those back rages was critical. He did a very good job back there. Uh, unfortunately, Hork uh, was just not on his game today. Uh, a lot of times that he, he was missing a lot of his gunfights. So maybe we'll see him come back in the next round and really start to pressuring it out. Uh, yeah, uh, really, I like the way both teams were playing with going for those back caps. I like the way Epsilon started out uh, going in for that Charlie flag. I think that Fnatic was a lot better in, in terms of rotating. Uh, we saw that as soon as the flag was flashing, they were already either moving to another flag or they were already there. So I think that Fnatic right now has the better rotations than Epsilon. Um, I, think that, uh, I think that Epsilon really needs to start kicking it up. And honestly, go for those back rages. Go for more of them. I, I know it kind of gets a little boring because you're just flipping through flags. But a lot of times... You know, if a team is used to just sitting on two flags and just waiting, you can kind of uh, not, not overrun. It's not the word I'm looking for. Um, basically, what you do is you just wear them out, in a sense. And I kind of like to see Epsilon try and do that with Fnatic. This round is not going to be live, by the way, guys. Or is it? Um, it is no live in chat, so we are not going to go live. Awesome stuff there. Should be going though live or live on the next uh, or double restarts actually, as uh, yeah, we'll see what's going to be happening. Uh, we did not see any kind of a back rage, major back rage coming around over here on the uh, the southwestern side of the map, as uh, I was stating earlier in the last uh, before we started the last round. So I don't know if we're going to be seeing any of that for this one. We might, not really sure, but uh, I definitely like the way uh, Epsilon played that. They were able to get up into, uh, they were able to get B, first of all, they were able to capitalize that. Hork actually did a really good job on that Bravo flag. He was pre-firing out the uh, the walls and was able to get a couple of shots there, so nice job there. And uh, we also had um, <clears throat> Epsilon pushing up in through the mid, which I like that play right from the beginning. Fnatic, though, uh, they, they went for a basically a four-man push right out to Bravo, and it failed miserably. So we'll see what they're going to be doing again on this setup. As, no, we did have another one uh, fall out. One thing I do want to mention, though, too, Mort did an amazing job as safety. So I got to give him props there. He was doing a really good job holding it down. Uh, he stopped at least two pushes coming in onto Charlie Flag, And he also was critical on helping out onto Bravo. He was able to get a lot of cross shots over there onto, the, onto B. Able to stop a lot of movement. And that's really... Uh, if you can't get kills, if you can't get the frags, it, but you can at least stop the movement, you're helping your team out. So, you know, he's doing good either way. Unfixed your hip fire. Not good enough. Not good enough. So anyways, guys, do you think Epsilon can come out? Do you think they can come back? Do you? I don't know. I don't know. I think that Epsilon has the potential to come back. We will see because they were looking very strong there in the mid game. Uh, they had a triple cap of their own. They ended up bringing it down from, uh, I believe it was like 150 tickets to uh, 101, down to even. So they were able to to even it up once again. Unfortunately, I think that they overextended themselves a couple times and they they wiped. I cannot stress enough how if you wipe in this game type you're 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 just dead uh there's almost no way that you can come back in that especially if the team recognizes that you wiped then they're going to be pressuring on they're going to get that trip cap and uh well that that's going to be it so yeah we'll see what's going to happen in this next round Once again, guys, I am Brett FX. We do appreciate you coming out and watching. We are in the semifinals of the Go4 Cup. If you guys want to sign up for this, you can go check it out on the ESL website. If you want to look at the brackets, I'll post them in the chat right now for you guys uh, to check it out. As uh, We'll see if there's any other matches that have actually finished up. We did have a little bit of issues uh, in our previous match, so we may be a little bit behind. I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, so we did have uh, Icybox versus Planet Key Dynamics, which is going on right now. 
Um, I'm not really sure what the score on it is just yet. I'm going to ask one of my admins. See if we can't get any update on what's going on in there. So whoever wins this will be moving on into the finals versus the winner of Icy Box or Planet Key Dynamics. Who will it be? Not really sure. I will say this though, Fnatic looking extremely strong as they've been solid all day long. They did really well against Infuse. They did. Uh, they're doing really well against Epsilon. So props to them as they're looking really strong. Epsilon has been playing strong for most of the day. We saw them doing really well against AAA as they commanded the match. They did really well against MYM. Uh, they, they manhandled them in the second round. But, uh, you know, they're, they're looking really solid as well. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what comes out in this next round. Is this going to be enough? Is this break going to be a, uh, a good good one? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so teams are ready. And it looks like Planet Key did win the first round. 22 for 22 tickets. So Planet Key winning, taking the first round against Icy Box. And I believe Icy Box and Planet Key both made it to the EMS uh, group stages. Did they make it to the EMS? I think they did actually make it to EMS. Um, we did have uh, Fnatic and Epsilon as well make it, so all EMS qualifiers are going to be up in the top for Go4. Okay. Should be getting started here in just a few seconds, guys. Remember to, uh, to follow this page if you like the cast. I am solo casting today, so it is a little bit bumpy. Hopefully, I'll have a uh, second caster joining me for next week. We do do go fours every single week, and I am going to try and start doing uh, doing as many of them as I possibly can. I would like to familiarize myself a lot more with the EU scene. Uh, I do watch as many of them as I possibly can, but casting and watching are two different things. And uh, you know, I really want to to get to know the, the EU scene. I want to get to know the teams, how they play, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, so I'm really hoping to be able to cast many, many more of these, as well as uh, future EU events. So, you know, you never know what we got going on out there. Um, oh, right now we do have second round is 99 and 100 uh, for the Planet Key versus Icy Box match. So it's a very, very tight match between the two. So who knows which one's going to win that. So awesome updates for our admins. And that's, that's the other thing I want to do. Guys, you know, give some love to the admins. You know, show your appreciation. If you uh, you see one of them around on the forums or anything like that, definitely thank them. They do a great job here. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy casting, so this is fun for me. You know, these guys, the admins, they, they don't get the cast. They, they, they watch the games, and, you know, they, they sit there and they either listen to the teams complain or they... You know they, they they work basically so you know props to the uh, the admins there thank you guys you've done an amazing job with this and uh, I do appreciate you guys letting me cast this and it's a pleasure working with you guys and it does look like Planet Key taking the lead right now at 6499 looking really really strong so anyways we'll update you guys very soon after the match as it does look like Planet Key gonna go uh, go up with the win, but uh, or I'm sorry, escape is actually up right now. We are going to be on our double restart. Who is going to take this match, guys? Fnatic finishing out 28 to zero tickets. They did have about a 50 ticket lead, ended up losing that. So I don't know. Will Epsilon be able to come back? Will this break be enough? I don't know. We do have. Epsilon on the Chinese side. We've got uh, Fnatic on the Russian team. Have some nice little suicide action going on. Guys, remember there's always a hotline out there for it. That was terrible, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh my gosh, that was terrible. All right. I'm going to hide our chat because you guys don't want to see chat, right? You guys don't want to see chat. So here we go. Two seconds left. Epsilon versus Fnatic semifinals match in the Go For Cup. Let's see what happens. We will be having uh, Epsilon going out for another back rage. Two of them this time, though, going into mid. Three of them going over here towards CB with Fnatic with a heavy push into Bravo. So they will be able to get that beef cap very, very fast. And, uh, oh, I, I got to go on to David 2K here to see if they go for a back rage right from the get-go. Uh, where is he going? He's actually going straight up into Bravo Flag. So he's not going to be going in for that back cap. He's going to go in for the back B. And he will be able to get one. That's unfixed going down. Will he be able to clean it out with those nades? Fail nade! Might actually hurt himself. And can he finish this off? He does. Beautiful play there by David 2K. Can he make it three? He does. Clutch right there. Clutch for David 2K as he will be able to take B back for his team. And it looks like they're going to be going in for a triple cap as Duke PT going to be able to take out Mort. And this is looking solid, solid here for Epsilon as they are really taking it to Fnatic. And Fnatic, they have to back up a little bit. They got to think, oh crap, guys, what just happened? And uh, we will be seeing Hort uh, defending himself onto that Bravo flag. And Fnatic trying to figure out a way just to poke in here as uh, they really don't have any kind of a foothold on the map. Duke T going to be a one-on-two -on -two situation. Takes out one. Can he take out the second one? Another one spawning in. It may be too much, and it is unfixed. We'll be able to take out Duke PT, and we are going to be seeing that flag start to whittle down into their favor. But David, once again, coming in for a back rage. He kind of telegraphed his position. They know that he's there. He's going to have to back up a little bit, go for maybe the other side of the cap. <clears throat> and now we do have Mort and Valutage are going to be pressuring over here onto that Charlie flag. They need to make something like this happen because uh, we did have a very early lead coming out for Epsilon. And 167 to 186. This is exactly what they need. 28 tickets is the ticket count to beat, guys. So let's see if they can do it. And it looks like uh, we are going to be having Valutage and Mort playing very, very slowly over here onto that Charlie point. Not really wanting to commit too much. It uh, looks like they are going to be going back over here to Bravo. As he will be able to get a back rage over on for it. Can he make it a second one? He doesn't. Ends up getting taken out by some mean looking impact grenades. And Duke PT with the res on that. But a massive spawn coming in here. Asterix, can he be the savior? Can he be the hero? Value Taja ends up going down, but it's not going to be enough. We'll be able to cap out that C point. Uh, it's going to be okay, though, because I think David 2K has an easy run right over here onto Alpha. What they have to worry about, nobody shifting over for Epsilon onto Bravo. This is a huge blunder here. We need to have faster shifts, faster changes coming in. And look at that. Too easy. Nice pickups on two kills. We'll be able to hold off any kind of a rotation. And this is what I was talking about before. Fnatic has superior rotations. Epsilon don't. They, it's like they don't know where to go sometimes on these maps, and it's costing them dearly. Another beautiful pickup there. Fort too easy. We'll be able to take out Duke PT. Uh, can he make it a fourth one as he's going on his killing spree? Nope, he will not as he does end up going down. Unfixed, though, going to be finishing up back up into his place, and they're slowly but surely going to get that ticket count back into their favor. 153, 165. Not something that Epsilon really wanted to happen at this moment. Marsu going to be over here next to, uh, to Metal Detectors. If you're looking out for any kind of a back rage coming on, I don't think we're going to be seeing anything just yet as Duke PT is going to be inside. Uh, but another back rage coming in here for David 2K, who's just, he's been mean with these, these back rages. 6 and 2, doing a great job for Epsilon as he's just been able to lock it down. And once again, we're going to see a trip cap in the favor of Epsilon here. But, you know, even though that we've seen two trip caps from Epsilon, an early trip cap at that from Epsilon, the score is very even. I mean, you're looking at a, a 20 ticket difference. That's it. And you would expect to see two trip caps for as long as they had, the, at least the first one. And, and now on the second one, that would be a lot, a lot more than that. Unfortunately, it's just not. More is going to be back up over here next to Alpha Flag. Will not be making that play happen for his team, but too easy uh, with a nice uh, back rage coming in here. We'll be able to take out, I believe that was Mort. Uh, or not Mort. Um, Mayak. There we go. I knew it was an M. I'm sorry, guys. I knew it was an M. But uh, Mayak ends up getting taken down over there onto Alpha. Fnatic 
Will be having to pressure over here onto Charlie Clyde. They need to make something happen now. They need to get out of this two cap. 117 to 156. Now, remember, it's going to be plus 28 in their favor. So it's not too bad. But still, I mean, this is Epsilon we're talking about here. So anything can happen. Duke PT ends up going down by a really nice impact grenade. Fnatic, though, uh, going to be pressuring onto Bravo Flag. Too easy. Will be the only one left back up onto Alpha. And if he can make something happen here, this is going to be really good. At the very least, he can hold back those players. He can kind of pull back several of those teams. And he will be able to do just that. Duke PT ends up going down. He's going to be spotting out. Hey, there is a backridge coming in. He calls it out to his teammates. And he's going to allow Masu to know exactly what's going on. And he was able to take out the last player there. So beautiful communication going in here from, uh, from Fnatic. Is a really, really starting to... To, to heat up back once again. They're, they're controlling this two cap flag, two flag cap very, very well. 111 to 137. And like I said before, Epsilon, two trip caps, and we are within 20 tickets. Like, you know, when, when you can't even get your, your ticket lead out there to at least 30 or 40 or even 50 tickets, that's not good. You, you are seriously lacking in your either your, your frag ability or you're just playing, you know, not not holding your flags correctly uh, but we will be seeing a flag going down once again Fnatic will be shifting back over there we do have a pr push coming in here for Horik as uh, he's going to be uh, pretty much uncontested for a little bit as uh, we do see one player going to be back up that was going to be more ends up getting taken down Asher's going to be primed for a back rage but he ends up getting spotted down and killed Unfix going to be re-pushing back up through balconies 102 to 130 in favor of Epsilon, and remember, they have to win by 28 tickets, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a close one. We do have Duke PT getting down, shot down in between the cracks. Nice job there, and look at that kill feed up there, all fanatic all day long, as they were able to do some massive work. David 2K spawned back in, but look at the, th this is what I'm talking about. Look at the shifting from, uh, from fanatic. They know that there's going to be a back ridge. There's going to be back spawns over here onto Alpha. They already shifted back over, and they were already able to take care of it. It's just, just superior, superior transitioning coming in here for Fnatic. And we do have Asterix going to be going in for a back ridge of his own. I would like to see him going in for that Charlie cap instead of coming up here through Bravo. This is one of the things that I was talking about before, guys. Teams get hung up on this B flag, and, and, and really, he needed... He needed to go for that back cap. Even if he can't make it, uh, the ability to pull players off of it would have been critical. And now they're going to be stuck in this trip cap of themselves and not going to make really anything happen out of it. Work does end up going down. So that B flag will be not, not going into their possession. As Value Taja is going to be on the backside over here next to Alpha Flag. 94 to 102. Fnatic about to take the lead for, I would say, the first time since the beginning of this game. Valutage does end up going down. Very good spreads out coming for Fnatic as they're ready for anything to come at them. I would imagine we're going to see Valutage spawning in somewhere over next to Bravo. As Unfix is going to be primed and ready for any kind of a, a push coming in through the doors. We do have a couple over here next to Metal Detectors. Two easy spots that out. He knows that there's going to be something going on there. And I would like to see once again Horik. They're pushing it onto this Bravo flag, and I think this is a huge mistake. They need to be pressuring over there onto Charlie, and now Bork is going to be spotted out. But, oh my god, get hip-fired, son, as Valutaja gets sat on his butt. Nice job on Hork, and now B-Flag will be going into the possession of Epsilon. So, nice job there. I will say this, though. If Hork had gotten taken down, we would have been seeing a completely different exchange right there. Uh, Valutaja would have been back up. He would have been able to provide spawns for his teams, as well as get a couple of frags himself. Unfixed, though, going to be spawning back in uh, over there onto that Charlie cap. We'll have uh, Asterix finally going to be uh, being aggressive onto the C cap. They themselves know, hey, there's going to be something up but trades out, so that will be going into their possession, C-Flag. So uh, some, just basically some good trades going on. 77 to 83. Uh, Fnatic, they're looking pretty good. Again, they got 28 tickets to play with. So really, they're looking at about 90. Whereas Epsilon, they're, they're, they're hurting. They need, to, they need to step it up. They need to start winning a lot more of their gunfights. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, getting owned there by Matthew. Uh, will not be able to get that pick there. Unfixed, though, uh, coming in by bathrooms. Will not be able to stay alive. There you go. Another pick coming in here for Duke PT. Make doesn't it going down. Can he survive the nade spam? It looks like he will be able to do so. I thought there for a second that guy was trying to knife him, which would have been awesome. Just saying. 
62-79 in favor of Fnatic as they have taken the lead. Or, I'm sorry, of Epsilon as Fnatic has not been able to take the lead just yet. Oh, oh I love the game sense there. Knows it too easy was going to drop down. Able to take him down. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. David 2K will be back up. And this is one of the spots I was talking about at the beginning, guys. Sitting back on those crates. He's going to be able to shut down any kind of a back rage coming in. And unfortunately, uh, because of the way spec mod is right now, I can't really see what he was shooting at. But he was able to take down Value Taja. So beautiful job there. And uh, we will be seeing too easy coming around the corner. Spots out of push coming in. Uh, should be okay as... Uh, oh, hit fire spray coming in. Not going to be strong enough. Does end up going down. Valutaja is going to be back up. And we're going to be seeing some massive back and forth going on. And it looks like Marsu was going to be saving the day. We'll be able to get the res on Valutaja. So they are primed and ready for another back push for Bravo Flag. See if they can make it happen. I'm not seeing a whole lot of pressure coming in for Epsilon. I would like to see Epsilon now push A. Uh, we are about to see them completely cleaning up this back cap as Marsu. No, Marsu with a beautiful turnaround. Will be staying alive. And at, like I said, at this moment, I think that Epsilon needs to push that A, a cap. It's going to be 26 to 74. They are looking really, really good right now. They could take this match. Hork is going to be going down. Fnatic needs to get onto that B cap right now. They do have it surrounded, and look at that. All of them are going to be dying. Valutaja knows, hey, I got to back up. I got to stay alive. 19 to 73. Can Epsilon make this comeback? Can they take this win? I don't know. They are called the online heroes. Maybe we will be seeing them take the win. As beautiful shots going in there from Too Easy, we'll be able to take out David 2K. Uh, let's take a look over here onto Duke PT. It's just going to be a one on three. Not going to make anything happen out of there. Uh, C and A are going to be in the possession of Fnatic, but not for too long as Hork is able to get uh, a cap on it. We'll be getting it grayed out and the cap himself. 10 to 68. B flag is now going to be contested as we do have all of Fnatic going to be pressuring in on it. Can they stay alive? We do have some shots coming in from that uh, alpha flag. or so, I'm sorry, that, uh, yeah, the alpha flag. And now they're going to be pressuring in for a triple cap themselves. Did we have a wipe from Epsilon? We did. We had a wipe from Epsilon. Oh, my God. Can we see a comeback? Remember, guys, all they had to do is bring them down below 28 tickets, and it is possible. 10 to 55. Can they do it? We do have one going down. A massive push coming in here for Epsilon onto the alpha flag. Marsu is going to be back up. The only one left. He's going to be getting some nice frags coming in. Uh, we do have one parachuting down. He spots that out. 47 tickets left to go. They're starting to whittle down. Do, does Mort know that there's going to be a back rage coming in? It's going to be Mort against two. Will he be able to stay alive? Unfix is going to be back up, waiting for anybody to come up in through these staircases. Let's take a look over here to Mort. He knows something's up. He knows something up. He feels it. Able to pick him down. Asterisk goes off. So nice job there. We do have value Taja, though. It's going to be a one on two situation. B flag is going to be slowly but surely whittled down. 32 tickets left. Four tickets left. Can they do it? Fnatic. Will they be able to win this from a 72 ticket? Oh my god, they just did. They just clutched it. Wow. 8 to 24. Fnatic taking this round. We'll be moving on into the finals of the Go For Cup for ESL. Beautiful job there. Wow. I got to say, that was a great round. Beautiful job. Fnatic almost losing it there, but kept their cool. Definitely outplayed Epsilon. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. So there we have it, guys. We'll be going into our finals, and uh, I think that uh, I think the icy box was our winners for the other match. So GG's there. If you didn't like that match, I don't know what match you would have liked. Very, very close. We do have uh, Epsilon. Looks like they're going to try and finish this out, but it is already too late. Beautiful games going in. Yes, icy box were able to take out Planet Key Dynamics, so we'll be seeing the finals versus Fnatic and icy box. Look at the scores right now. 20 and 15. Value Taja, the only one going up into the 20 round. Able to do some massive work there. Mort doing a great job. 10 and 13. So GG's there. Beautiful, beautiful job. This is going to be PC platform. Guys, this is all PC. All right, so we are going to...